Hey, Timothy here. In this video, I want to show you guys how to create masking transitions. What are masking transitions? Let me show you some examples. is a great tool that many video editors use. When using it to transition from one scene to another, masking can create a better flow to the overall edit. If you ever played or heard about the game Portal, this is where I get most of my ideas and visions for masking transitions. All right, let's get started. I have some clips here, all taken from a trip to Japan. I usually look for things that I can use to mask or make quote unquote portals. So for this first one, I probably won't use this pole. This second one, I'll use this window. The third, we will try to use the traffic light. But this one might be a little bit more difficult. We will see how it turns out. Finally, the last clip will just be used as an ending clip. Okay, so I decided on the first clip I will mask out everything on the right of this pole. So I stop the clip before the right side of the pole starts revealing itself. I cut up the clip here. You don't have to cut up the clip like I did here. I just do this out of my own personal organization. That being said, you can skip cutting if you want. Go to Opacity, click on the Masking Pen tool. I'm going to zoom out to see the bigger picture. Start placing my points on the edge of the pole. Complete this mask. Click on Invert. Click Mask Path to start keyframing your mask, meaning it will keep a save point at the current timestamp you made the mask. Start moving frame by frame and adjust your mask accordingly. Be sure that your mask is creating these keyframes or save points. Also, save your work, as this takes a long time and you don't want to start over this process. A few moments later. Okay, finished. Let's take a quick look of what we made. Looks great. Let's move on. For clip number two, the concept will be pretty much the same. We are going to mask out this particular window. This masking transition technique really resembles the game Portal, as I mentioned before. Make yourself real comfortable, get a coffee or drink, and grind this out. Much, much, much later. Done with that one, let's see our masking work. Awesome. Let's continue. Okay, so actually I didn't end up using this third clip as I didn't really like how the mask transition turned out. That being said, I do want to share some additional tools that you can use right here. First is the feathering tool. This tool is used to help blend the masking layers. Next is the expansion tool. It can increase the overall size of the mask and you can use keyframes here as well. So we are finished masking. Next, we will start to separate the clips into different layers or rows. I'm going to recombine the clips that I cut earlier to make it into one clip. To put it short, I'm going to nest these clips. I'll name this Nest Video 1. Again, it is not necessary to cut the clips, but from personal experience, I tend to drag the mask positioning into the wrong time slot, messing up the whole masking process. I will then put the second clip under the first clip. I will move it accordingly so that it takes the place where the masking begins, right about here. I'm going to do a quick speed ramp to speed up the first clip so it reveals the second one faster. If you don't know how to speed ramp, I made a tutorial on it and it is linked in the description below. Okay, there, much better. Repeat this process on the second clip. And there you have it. Let's take a look at our final product now. That's it. Thanks for watching this masking transition tutorial. Let me know what type of videos you guys would like to see more of down in the comments below. I create content every week, so be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, this is Timothy signing out. Peace.